Hello, Reed Debricks here, back with another video. Today we're reviewing the 71730 Kai vs. Skulkin. Comes with 61 pieces. Retailed for $10 back in 2021, and it's still currently available. And this set comes with two minifigures, free site, free builds, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. I should also mention that this plate right here that the minifigures are standing on did not come with a set. And I'll be going with a little bit of backstory on this set too. Well, not this one in particular, but the one that it's inspired off of. But yeah, now let's get into it. Alright, so starting off with Kai, as you can see, he has like a versus print right here. Nice ab detailing in light gray. He's sleeveless with his red hands. He has really nice belt printing and a fire on his pants. And he has nice... um laces around his pants i guess sorry he has a versus symbol on the back with more rips and more you know wrinkles he does have the island bandana from ninjago season 14 the island as you can see here the island hood and you know a little bit of core too he has the average ninjago movie face print front and the back but he does have something that is special to this set. Very special, I would say. Is this golden dragon sword. You you have his flame piece right here that's whooshing down. You can whoosh it down and stuff. And it's on this 2018 golden dragon hilt from Lego Ninjago. Hunted. But yeah, that's basically it. Let's move on to Skulkin. Alright, so with the Skulkin, as you can see here, he has the shoulder pads from the Stone Warriors. A new, ex not exclusive, but pretty rare face print, I would say. It only came in two sets. He has a pretty common blue loincloth with the skull design on it. He has a giant sword. And he has the old rice cap. And his face has really nice details. It's in like light gray and black and red for the eyes and then he he has an open mouth i'll probably get the other one for comparison because like the other one had a closed mouth this one has an open mouth but yeah other than that it's just a basic skeleton sucks that they got rid of the old legs honestly but yeah that's basically it for him let's move on to the builds all right so these two builds right here correspond with each other except you know like for all the ninja, this is changed out. So instead of like white, it's red. Or blue, it's red. Or black, it's red, honestly. Then you have this little training dummy right here that you can spin by doing this. And sorry. You can like try to hit it and stuff. It's kind of finicky, I'd say, on some surfaces. But you're supposed to hit it and you're supposed to go back and forth, back and forth. There we go. Back and forth. And you get this nice spinning motion. This is in the same style as a monastery. Not the same style, but it's in a smaller style of, for, compared to the monastery. And the one and Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile. Here is a closer look at a spinning dummy. You can just like spin it on, like this. And it comes with two brown skeleton legs. For the arms. And a gold rice cap. And a brown head and some more Technic pieces right here. And a Technic, half Technic, half tile. And just an average base. Alright, with the side builds out of the way, here is the main build. As you can see here, you have some, you have some flowers right here in yellow. Right here and here. And you have nice dark red around here for um, texturing and greebling. And you have nice stairs going up here, but there should be like something here that they should be at least fighting for. You could probably put like a sword of fire right there, or you can use one of these extra pieces that I'm not going to show in this video because like you all have probably seen it because this is a re review. But yeah, it's basically a really nice structure, but like it's kind of finicky if you rebuild this. So yeah, let's get on to conclusion and my history with the set. Alright everyone, so here's my history with the set. So this is kind of like my first ever Ninjago set, but not really. It's like a remake of it. I think it was called the Ninja Ambush. That was my first ever Ninjago set. Came with a Kai and 
came with the original Kai, Skulkin, and a bush build where the ninja can pop out of. It kind of reminds me of this, but not a whole lot. But with Kai and Skulkin, it's probably a dead giveaway, honestly. But yeah. Would I recommend this set? Heck yeah, I go for it, honestly. You get 61 pieces, sure, the price isn't too good, and I would suggest buying this before the price hike, before it gets up to $15 for 61 pieces. Or if it retires, one of those two, and you have to pay you know, more for it. But yeah, I highly recommend this set if you don't have a lot of money and if you can afford Ninjago. Because I understand that, like, you know, the recent wave, Crystallize, is going to be really expensive. If you don't have this set, I'd say get it. But, yeah. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.